Hey, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, ensure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. I think there's a way they say that, you know, something like that. All I'm just saying is just subscribe. So in this video, I'll be showing you five things you need to do in the month of June or five things you need to do to maximize and take charge of the next six months. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, these five simple things are um, all you need to do. Once you can do them, you would overcome and you would take charge of the next six months. You see yourself uh, making more money. You see yourself um, growing more. You would be able to notice the difference in that your financial status has increased, your um, personal development has increased, all in all ramifications, your spiritual life too has also increased. Yeah, this is a balanced um, um, teaching to some extent. Yeah, and for the next few minutes, I'm going to be taking you on that journey. So without further ado, let's get in. And as they say it, it doesn't bite. Subscribe. <laughs> so these five things that you will be doing should be done with a space of just one month. So you have to take one month to practice each of these steps. I'm not saying one, two, three, four, five, six months. One month for five steps. So you practice the old five steps in one month. Now the very first thing you have to do is to evaluate the past five or six months. Being that we're in June, you should evaluate the past five months. Evaluate the five past months in your in the eight areas of personal development. That is your spiritual, your financial, your family slash life goals, your career, your academics, your mental development, your relationship goals, your social goals, and they're about try to evaluate everything. Create a, a record book for them. Go through your financial record books. If you don't have one, please start making one. Start acting like someone wants to get rich. Yes. Start keeping records of how you spend your money. Yes. Go through all those. Go through the money you made. Go through. Try to pick out places where you wasted money. Things that you could, you should stop doing that causes you to waste money. Um, go through your personal development courses. The courses you've taken all this while. How many of them did you study to the end? How many of them did you implement? And for those that you implement, did you get results? Go through these things, evaluate these things because this is how we move. We've got to assess the past first because the truth is the future is hidden in the past. That is the truth. The, the, the secret to build the future that you want is hidden in your past. But the question is, would you go through the stress of going to the past to pick the lessons and not the mistakes? Pick the lessons. Okay, this is the mistake, but there is a lesson from this mistake. Pick that lesson and not the mistake. I tell people, don't carry the burdens of the past. Rather, carry the lessons from the past. So you, you have to go to the past, evaluate the past five months. You, remember... It's a year, and I believe you've set a goal at the beginning of the year. So evaluate those goals. That's the second step. Go through your goals and see what you've yet to accomplish, change, and set strategies. What are you yet to achieve in your goals? You set a goal for this year, right? You set goals for this year. Go through them. Which ones have you been able to achieve? If you set, let's say, 10 goals, by this time of the year, you should have at least, at least accomplished three. At least three. So have you done that? Go through those goals and see the ones you've accomplished. See the ones that um, you, 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 you are failing at and see if the strategies are the issues. The purpose might not necessarily change. In fact, the goal should not change. If it is realistic, if it is specific, if you've set it within the confines of goal setting, you can reach out to me to get my goal setting course. It's, 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 it's not free. <laughs> you can reach out to me. I should put a link in the description below of how to get to my personal DM on WhatsApp. Yes, just go through that and rearrange your goals. Most times it's not for you to change the goal. It's for the person that wants the goal to change because everything you're looking for is looking for you. So you have to become who can attract that thing that you need. You get what I'm saying? So go through your goals and um, change the strategies. Some of the paths you're trying to take to get that goal might not be working. So change the path, change the pattern, change the strategies and go for that goal again. That is one of the things. So I've said evaluate your, evaluate the past, the past five months in all areas of personal development. Next is go through your goals and see what you've done. See what you get to do. See what, see, uh, try to fix the lapses. Try to get where everything got wrong. You get it? So now you've gone through your goals, you've um, been able to see the um, lapses and the accomplishments. Here's what I wanted to do. Number three, celebrate your small wins or big wins if you have. 
See, it doesn't have to be uh, um, um, something that be. Don't beat yourself too much that you've not achieved this, you've not achieved that. There is something that you've achieved. It might not even be on the list of your goals, but probably something that just was productive, something that was new, something that was a new experience. You went to the cinema for the first time. Be happy for that. You you did the subscription of five thousand for the first time in your life instead of hundred that you've been doing. Be happy. Be happy for that. You uh, just just something small. Celebrate yourself. Okay, you were able to fast for three days for the first time. Celebrate yourself. Now, we're not saying dwell on that past. We're saying at least be happy for that, that you were able to do that. Now, a lot of people were not even able to do that. But then what it does is that it makes you aim for more. When you, when you thank yourself for a, for the little, it makes you aim for more. But when you don't appreciate yourself for the little, you probably you, you don't find any reason. Your mind just becomes lazy. But if your mind knows that there's going to be enjoyment at the end, you see, it's, it's kind of like deceiving the mind when your mind knows knows that there's going to be something like an enjoyment so probably when you when you've made those cross check-ins and all that pick a thousand era pick two thousand era go out go and buy food and eat it's not every time you cook at home just go out one day go to an eatery buy food eat buy meat five that's all what you can um uh, afford take care of yourself the placebo effect i think take care of yourself guys celebrate those little wins next up would be number four which is pray and first towards the next six months i will never be part of those who would say that life is not spiritual life is spiritual and you have to understand this so pray for the next six months ask god for what he wants you to do in the next six months because definitely there is need for divine leading so ask god what what you want what he wants you to do and how he wants you to do certain things that even you have planned because you have the mind of christ i believe so Pray and first towards it. Read the word. Get the word of the Lord. Because faith is built in the word. So you want to have faith for the next six months. You want to believe God is going to do something great within your life in the next six months. Then you have to act on the word. Find the Bible. Drink it. Pray first. Just You could probably shut down for the whole of June or for the whole of the starting first month. To find out what exactly you need to do. Or how exactly you need to do things. Probably it might just be one area of your life is going to drop something about your spiritual life. This is how you, I want you to increase. This is why I want you to follow. Next up, which is the final step, number five. My advice to you is to intentionally plan for the next six months. More than wishing, intentionally plan. This is why I, I once again, I'm suggesting you get the goal setting course from me. Send a DM to me and um, yeah. I'll give you, but not for free. <laughs> All right. So as I said, intentionally plan for the next six months. What do you want to achieve? And when I'm saying what do you want to achieve, break it down, guys. Don't 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 look at something unrealistic. Break it down. Break it down to weekly goals. Break it down to monthly goals. Who told you it's only at the beginning of the year they set goals? If you if you did not set any goals in the beginning of the year, good. Set a goal now for the next six months. You can achieve it. I'm currently going to go to make a specific amount of money in the next 25 days. And so far, so good. I've made 12% of that in just five days. In just five days of 25 days. 12%. So, 12, 12. so I need to up my game. Yeah. So what am I saying is that intentionally plan. Don't just, what do you want to do in July? Or if you're a coach like me, someone who teaches, okay, what do I want to do in July? Do I want to rest throughout the whole month of August? Do I want to rest throughout? This is it. Intentionally plan. Okay, you want to sit for a course. Sit on that course for the next six months. The next six months could just be a singular course. Okay, for the next six months, I want to study on faith. And you study on faith day in, day out for six months. I tell you, you become a custodian of faith. I don't want to go spiritual. But what I'm saying is that for the next six months, plan. What do you want to do? And I, I I think this 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 is not a new advice I give you every time. Get a book, your own book where you write things down, where you jot things down. That's how you plan. You don't you don't plan in the mind. You plan on paper. You plan on paper. Even purpose must be on paper. That's why the Bible says in Habakkuk two verse two that write the vision down so that whatever sees it might run. So if you want to run with a vision, if you want to run with something that you've emphasized with the plan, you have to write it down. Or else, how will you see it to run? So once again, I'm going to rush through it. I said evaluate the the past five months first. Secondly, do a goal. 
overview go through your goals check your goals what have you accomplished where were the points where you missed it are you even still on track are you sure you've not let your left your goal and you started pursuing the goalkeeper are you sure <laughs> number three i said celebrate your little wins celebrate your little wins take yourself out enjoy life small um when i'm saying enjoy life enjoy life within the means please don't take all your savings and go and enjoy life you your life is boy <laughs> yeah so then the fine the, the fourth thing is that you intentionally pray and plan pray and fast towards the next six months God, what do you want me to do for the next six months? In the month of July, what do I do? In the month of August, what do I do? How do okay, God, I am having this particular issue. I have this bad habit. I can't stop. I have this. I have that. Pray, pray about it. I will never decline the powers of prayers. Please pray. Life is very spiritual. Then the final point is that you plan on paper. All right, guys. I believe I've helped you implement that is the goal of all this you can listen to all this and not do anything but ensure that you implement because only then can you move on to the next i believe you must have learned something here if you've learned something let me know in the comment section below and once again subscribe it doesn't bite this is the first time i'm actually telling people to subscribe on a youtube video i don't know i don't, I don't think i like saying it but anyways do that thing i said i don't like saying yeah, do it. It's just somewhere around... Is it, is it here or here? I don't know. It should be somewhere down of either of these two. Yeah. Check my other videos too. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire, burn, shake it. <laughs> that was just me kidding. I, I'm not manipulating anybody. All right, guys. Bye. See you next time.